Hi Pisces, welcome to your love connection reading for the last half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is down there. So please do go check that out, it would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me in an energy exchange, such as a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. And thank you so much for all your support and your generosity really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Pisces, second half of August. I hope everybody's doing well. Almost done summer, what, one more month or so? And uh, heading into fall already. All right, Pisces, love connection reading for the last half of August. This can be for any type of connection for anybody you have in mind. So hopefully this resonates for you. This is an or um, this is an or <laughs> zodiac deck, Blah. and we may get a planet, element, or sign energy. So whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with that pot, that is totally fine. It's just sort of like a little extra bonus message, and the rest of the reading is may uh, resonate for you obviously if you clicked on it something in the title um, resonates for you so there's probably messages in here for you somewhere alrighty so for Pisces this love connection reading last half of August spirit please what kind of energy what could Pisces some Pisces be dealing with the last half of August oops Gemini okay so some Pisces could be dealing with a Gemini. Now uh, this can be, it can be their sun sign, any sign in their chart. If you know they predominantly have Gemini more in their chart than even their sun sign, you know, that could be, it too could be their moon sign, uh, their Venus sign, rising sign, or something of that nature. All right, so let's see. So that's water and air. All right. And Gemini is the twins. So let's see if you're dealing with a twin flame situation. That could be the meaning of the card. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So let's get an overall love energy. So what is the overall love energy for Pisces? The second half of August in this love connection. Or whoever they have in mind. All right, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this is a very passionate connection. So if it's not an air sign, it could be a fire sign, since passion reminds me, you know, of fire. So maybe they could have fire in air or Gemini in their chart or something like that. So let's get one card for you, for uh, Pisces. How are you feeling about your person that you have in mind? And how are you feeling about this connection? Can we get one card for Pisces, please? And this connection, how are they feeling? That's too many. How are they feeling about this connection? How are they feeling about their person? All right, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you want this connection very soon. <laughs> You want it now, whatever connection you have here. You're hoping for it. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So have it in your mind. All right, so let's see how your person that you have in mind, how are they feeling towards you in this connection? We have one card for Pisces person, whoever they have in mind. The second half of August. Here, please. Thank you so much. One card for Pisces person. How are they feeling towards Pisces and this connection? Just one card. I'm going to take that one. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So maybe they're telling you to let go of control issues, or maybe they're trying to control the situation. Um, so you want it very soon, so maybe you're like, like, come on, let's go, and they're like, you know, slow down a little bit, 
So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, yep, I definitely feel like here, you know, the energy is here that you both want to give this a chance. There's a lot of passion. So, I think, you know, they may be telling you to let go of control issues and you're wanting it, like, now. So... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. What's going on for you, Pisces? Clarify now with the tarot. This love connection, second half of August for Pisces. All the decks that have been pre shuffle cut, meditated on off camera. And they are listed below if you are interested in that. So let's see. For Pisces. Why do we have very soon here for Pisces in this connection? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. It's a very big card. Let me try this way. There we go. Ten of Earth. Wow. <laughs> it's like you want it all like now. You want the marriage, the home, the family, the stability, the abundance of this relationship. It's like you want it. Earth energy here. You want it all now. This is like the marriage card, the commitment card. Being in a committed relationship, having the happy home and family life, the stability, the joining of finances, and just being in that uh, married, uh, committed relationship. Like a couple that's been married like for a very long time. They have their finances, their children, their happy home and family, very secure and stable and grounded. So if you want that, like now. <laughs> And they're like, um, hold on now, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's get, let's get a card for your person in this connection. Well, it came in reverse, so it's the messenger of ear. So this is the Knight of Wands, fire energy here. So, you know, the Knight, oh, the Knight of Earth. It's the Knight of Earth. The messenger of Earth. So you know the Knight of Pe uh, Earth here, Pentacles rather, uh, is usually a very slow moving uh, energy. It's very slow. It's stable. It's sturdy. It's grounded. It's there for the long haul, for the long term. Um, you can trust it, rely on it. But in reverse here, so I mean, maybe they're willing to. Speed up the process a little bit, though, if you let go of control issues. You know, maybe you thought they were moving too slow, and you're like, come on, let's go, let's get it going. You know, maybe, maybe you've been together for a very long time, and you're like, okay, when are we going to be committed or be married or whatever? And now this is causing them to maybe, you know, speed up their uh, tone here just a little bit. But yet they're also telling you to just chill, relax a little bit, with let go of control issues. All right, so let's see uh, what your actual situation is here now. So we have patience, which is temperance. Four of five, wow, okay. So <laughs> I said, let's see if this is a twin flame connection, right? The Gemini is the twins, and here we have the four of fire, the four of wands, which is indicative of the twin flame connection. Usually you see the four pillars, which indicate the 1111, which this deck is a little bit different. But, um, yep, four of wands, there you go. Twin flame energy, seven of water. So this is your energy, um, Cancer Scorpio, Scorpio Pisces. So connected to you is temperance. So I feel like here, um, this is, you know, balance, patience, healing. This is also coming into union, soulmate, twin flame union, healing energy. So I think you're realizing here that you need to have patience. They're telling you have patience, slow down a little bit. Don't try to control it so much. We're going to get there. You know, I'm speeding up just a little bit. You know, maybe I've been slow moving here. Just have patience with me and you're having patience with them. And, uh, this will happen. And then you have the seven of water. So this is your energy and this is connected to them. So this is a little bit of confusion, uh, daydreamy kind of attitude. So maybe they've been kind of like la la land. I don't know. Kind of just like 
la 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 and not really you know doing much of anything like feeling confused like well i don't know should we move forward should we you know get married like i i don't know and being very confused this is your energy and just kind of like in their own dreamland and uh connecting the two of you is the four of wands so there is the marriage the commitment the home and family life the stability um twin flame energy here so yep i do see right in the middle of the spread coming together possible commitment marriage here all right so so you're wanting it very soon and like you want it like art like it's already happened like you wanted it yesterday <laughs> and i think they were very very slow and now they're starting to realize okay i need to pick up the pace here so both having patience especially you maybe they were kind of in their own dreamland and not really sure what to do but now you have the coming together with the four of fire with the twin flame soulmate home commitment marriage ceremonies all right pisces let's see what your advice is in this connection the four of water the four of cups and the empress okay so the four of water that's your energy and you see she's kind of like a you know something in her hand and offer here and the empress so um this is libra and taurus energy but it doesn't have to be so this is no, new knowing your worth so this is staying in your power knowing your worth your value um you know maybe you want to have children um i think if you want to like move very quickly have children have the family like you want this to grow the empress is about growth expansion stability wealth abundance i mean all those things birth you know this she's like has in her hand like okay i want to be a mother i want to do that like you want all this empress energy but i think you with the four of water here is kind of an energy of um not really giving an offer, holding back, uh, contemplating about an offer. So I think what you need to do is uh, with the four of water energy is, you know, don't like bombard them with all that all at once. Like I want the children and I want this and I want that. Just let it unfold naturally here with the four of water is kind of like uh, not really giving any offers, not taking any offers, not accepting any, you know, nothing's coming in or out. It's kind of a blah energy, kind of like a bored energy. So, you know, so I feel like with that combined with the Empress, with, you know, expanding the family and like all those ideas you have, you know, in your Empress power, it's kind of break it to them slowly with the Four of Water energy, the Four of Cups energy. Like, don't like just blast it all at him at once i think that's what your advice is here so let's see what your possible outcome will be so there we have the lover oh nope yeah the lovers so here's love so this is soulmate twin flame meant to be connection here the lion here reminds me of the strength card so definitely a very strong bond here love connection two people coming together as lovers soulmate twin flame wow pisces all right let's get more ace of ears so there's your ace of swords so it's having mental clarity there's the air energy as with gemini libra or um aquarius energy so that's mental clarity that's truth communication um big epiphanies and realizations a sword of success and victory so really having you know new beginnings so really having clear open honest communication with one another and that sort of energy cutting out anything in this connection that is not working for the connection standing up for the connection fighting for it being successful all that mental clarity so let's see what else the five of fire so this is conflict so you know maybe you know maybe there's been a little bit of conflict between the two of you little petty arguments about you know you saying come on let's go and then like dragging their feet you know at a snail's pace because they're in la la land or whatever over here and you know maybe there's a little arguing you know conflict between the two of you but i feel like you came through it here with this ace of swords with having that clarity and coming to a compromise eight of fire so there's a communication fire energy here so yeah communication um, fast action um, moving traveling maybe even 
passionate communication back and forth. So now passionately really maybe even making these plans for your future, for you know maybe the marriage or uh, the ceremonies, um, just that very fiery, passionate communication and movement forward. Six of fire, so six of wands. So there's success, victory here in this connection. So very fiery, passionate, successful, connection here moving forward all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so I did have here a king of earth so I mean you could be connecting with if it, they're not an air sign or fire sign they could be an earth sign somebody who's very uh, stable and grounded uh, very practical and smart and loyal and trustworthy a very stable person very abundant be a business owner, um, something of that nature, someone of high stature. So there's healing energy here. So I the star, so divinely guided soulmate twin flame energy here. Healing, optimism, faith, hope, dreams and wishes coming true. Yep. Divinely guided soulmates here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the magician, so um, this is Gemini and Virgo. So there's the Gemini energy. So manifesting this brand new beginning between the two of you. Finally, things are moving forward. Finally, things are manifesting. You know, everything you wanted is starting to come into fruition now. The relationship, the commitment, if this is um, an engagement, a marriage, whatever it is for you, finally all manifesting and moving forward. The page of fire so this is the you know page of one so here's the passionate communication again you know maybe that passionate finally offer comes in of hey you know okay let's get married let's get engaged let's just commit to one another or whatever it is for you here the offer coming in very passionate uh, communication fiery so two of fire so making plans and decisions together for your future Moving forward, the world, a whole new world, whole new beginning, closing out old ways and old chapters and moving forward in a whole new direction, whole new cycle in life. Earth energy here. And then we have the six of air. Again, success and victory going into a better place of peace and harmony and balance and um, calmer waters. Very peaceful, harmonious place. Yep. With your soulmate twin flame. Finally. I feel like I keep getting like finally, finally, you know, finally, you know, I get an energy of being together for so long and not really like just making it official, like either just getting married or moving in together or common law, whatever here. And now it's like finally we're planning it down and making it official. <laughs> Whether it's just moving in together, like I said, or just getting engaged, married, or whatever here. All right, Pisces. 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 So I feel like over here with Give Your Relationship a Chance, they're finally realizing, you know, that this needed to be more committed here. Your person or them, you could flip-flop the energies any way you see fit. Okay, so let's get extra guidance and messages for Pisces. Wow. All right. So we have shine. What? This is the sun. Leo energy here, but it doesn't have to be. So, wow. Definitely twin flame energy here with the sun. The sun is, you know, masculine energy. So I feel like it's your masculine finally stepping up to the plate. You know, letting, you know, Finally, their heart open up, the light come out, and you are now being absorbed in it. So again, having those wishes and dreams coming true. This is happiness, joy, success, happy home and family, enlightenment, growth, expansion, children. It's everything. The sun is the most happiest card in the deck for success. So we have here now a masculine energy with the nine of swords. So 
Yep, so there may, maybe they had a little bit of fear about really settling down and making it permanent, making it official. You know, maybe they had some deep fears here. But I feel like they finally had enlightenment here and realized, you know, you were their soulmate, twin flame. This connection's meant to be. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Heal. So this, I believe, is... 17, the star energy again. So we have the star, where do we have the star? Yeah, the star. So star and twice here. So divinely guided connection here, healing. They healed their fears here and were able to move forward in this connection. Again, with the dreams coming true. Balance, temperance again. Very balanced energy, but you balance each other out. You have patience with one another. Very healing, balancing energy here between the two of you. So now we have judgment with blossom. So again, you know, this is forgiving, uh, resurrection, if that means anything for every, anyone. Um, healing energy. And just making final decision and a final judgment call to blossom this. Sorry, I was just trying to get the messages that, you know, finally blossoming this relationship here, making that final judgment call. Yep. Finding their inner balance and healing with the star, overcoming their darkest fears here. So this can blossom into the connection it's meant to be. Pisces. Wow, well, Pisces. So if this resonated for you, please do uh, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. I do general in love um, bi-weekly, so don't miss out on that. Leave a comment. I'd love to read the comments. Like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. So best of luck to you and your love connection here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I always, always say with my channels, with the sun energy here, so always, always shine your light.